Julian, uh, obviously a pretty big uh, game to come in and, and just kind of get some of the jitters out. Just how good did that feel to go in there and really kind of shut them down for a couple of frames? Yeah, it's just been, you know, it's been a long time since I've been out there. So I just got out there for a few innings. Just my arm felt really good and the bullpen felt good. So it was just a good outing all around. Brian, take me through the home run there, first of all, and then second of all, the foul ball down the line where you shattered somebody's yeah, kind of, beer. Yeah. Um, I was actually really excited to see 93 for the first time this year. So I was actually pretty early, foul ball off my foot. And so I actually thought they were going to keep pounding me in and in and in. And then uh, he show, gave me a show me breaking ball, and then he hung that one. And I thought I popped up to left center field, and the ball just kind of made its way out of the yard. But uh, that was nice to have. And then I couldn't help but chuckle on the, uh, the beer explosion or whatever that was, if you will. But uh, just kind of in the moment, kind of it was pretty funny. Julian, what was the last year or so like for you uh, as far as going through the surgery and recovering, and, and what's the road back been like? You know, it was a long year last year, especially first year in college, just trying to not not get too excited and just sit back and watch, especially guys like Carmen, Brett, just talk to them throughout the year, see how they felt, and trying to help me throughout my process. And uh, we have just great, great trainers here also that um, just – kept me pushing uh, to, to get back to healthy. And it's just, it's been a long road. So I'm just great to be back. Yeah. George, about 430 feet for you on that home run. Is that one of the furthest balls you've ever hit? Um, yeah, I think that was probably my first ball that I've hit um, out of center field. So I was just happy to get the ball, uh, get the bat to it and see it land in the bread basket. So it was, it was a good feeling. What do you attribute some of the offensive success for for you to um, this year? Yeah, I tinkered with a few things over the fall and um, tried some things, figured figured out what worked best and what, and what didn't work and try to cut out all the excess movement and just really simplify it and try and drive it back up the middle every pitch and that way it helped me stay on the ball and um, see, it, see it a little better. So I just got to try and continue that going into SEC play. For either of the hitters, you, you guys hit home runs, but you also had some singles, some doubles, some things like that. Is this more of kind of the balanced attack you want from this offense moving forward? Um, yeah, absolutely. Um, we don't want to go up there thinking home run every pitch. We got to we got to think hard, hard line drives and a aggressive, disciplined approach at the plate, and then those home runs will come. We got very talented hitters. So as long as we can keep a good approach, um, we'll we'll score our runs any way we can. Now, if all of you guys could take this uh, after you know a rough first hour tonight, Mark says he got you guys together in the, the dugout and just started talking to you. What kind of things did he say, and, and was it kind of off his usual of what you've seen from him? There was nothing uncharacteristic from what I saw. I think he he knew. I think he had to bring to us what we had at stake. I think after a, a pretty rough weekend, and then as I call them uh, midweek marathons, as this one uh, led to be, um, he just did what he needed to do as a head coach, and I think his players we responded. Brian, the the Clemson series this weekend. What what do you know about the rivalry? And you know, you obviously, haven't been through this one, but I'm sure you had some at, at your old institution. How do you approach a a, a rivalry like this, where um, you know there's a lot of build up and anticipation? I think it's something that I have to step back and and kind of attack it as guys that have been through it. Um, you know, I don't know much about it. I know it's it's pretty heated, but and I am excited to be in the middle of it. But I think at the same time, for myself. It's still three more baseball games, and I'm just going to enjoy the opportunity to, to be on this side of the rivalry. Yeah. Julian, obviously the, the bullpen struggled a little bit over the weekend, and they got off to a rough start tonight. Did you kind of feel any pressure to come in and sort of right the ship or, or shut things down as far as that goes? I don't think there was any pressure. You know, coming out of the bullpen, it's already tough enough, but we just had to pound the zone. One thing that was big is just to disassemble my, my breathing when I got out there and just slow everything down uh, to, to my level. And so just everyone as a whole knows that we attack the zone. At just attack the zone and play the odds. That's the whole motto coming out of the bullpen, which I thought we did really well later in the game. Thank you. Thank you.